Jonah Larson. I'm making a blanket with a yarn I've never used before. Jonah's crafty passion flourished at age five when he taught himself basic stitches from an online video. And this is one of the first hoods that I've ever made. Since then, Jonah has made it a mission to bring the art of crochet to his nearly 150,000 subscribers online. I'm gonna yarn over, insert into the next stitch, pull off the loop. His marvelous creations ranging from blankets to headbands and even dog coats. And this is the other side if you want to be a little more festive and a little more bright. Wrapping his world in beautiful colors, stitch by stitch. And Jonah Larson yeah. is here live with yeah. us right now. Yeah. What a talent, what a talent. Jonah. And we're very impressed by you. And you also have a very sturdy handshake yes. when you met yeah. all of us. That is a, a good is sign. politics, too. Oh, you know, he watches your show on, on Sundays. Sunday. There you go. You have been doing this for a while. What is it about crocheting that you love so much? Well, I've been crocheting for 10 years now. I'm 15. I actually started when I was five years old, so I just had my 10th anniversary two weeks ago. <laughs> and Have you really birthday. taught yourself? Yes, so what happened is I found a crochet hook at the age of five, and then my mom found me a YouTube tutorial, and I made a dish call slash hot pad, which I'll have for each of you today. And then <laughs> from there, I just move on to the next thing and the next thing, and just keep progressing my skills through myself, through YouTube, and also from people who've taught me. And now I've gotten to the point where I am today on Good Morning America with all of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, big things are happening. Big things. Yeah, you, for you, us. you said your mom, we know your mom, Jennifer, is oh. over there. Very, very, very proud of Aww. you, man. And a portion of your proceeds from selling um, your creation, they help people in Ethiopia. Why is that important to you? Yeah, so, I, you know, I was adopted from a very poor and rural area in Ethiopia. And my mom over there, and my dad, who's at home working with my sister, Mercy, um, mm. my older brother, Leif, who's off at college. But when my mom and dad went to get me, the caretakers at the orphanage, when they put me into my mother's arms, they said, you know, don't let him forget his roots or don't let him forget where he came from. Yeah. You know, and my mom and dad have most definitely kept that promise mm. because they've always taught me, like, the unfortunate conditions and how I have it so good here in America. And I wanted to help, and so did my mom, my dad, and thousands of my crochet friends from all around the world. Mm -hmm. So now we've given those 2,000 kids a library, a fully equipped science lab, oh. a new set of restrooms for the female students, desks for the classrooms, which didn't have any, and Academics are so important, and I understand that. But it's also important to play and have some extracurricular activities. So our next step is to give them a soccer team with uniforms, shoes, and soccer balls. Because wow. they currently have none of those materials. Oh, my goodness. Let's just give Jonah the rest of the show. Huh? I know. <laughs> <laughs> so impressive. It's so so impressive. impressive. And I hear you made some for us? Yes, I did. So you're going to have to pass it all the way down. I made you all special hats. This one goes all the way down to Michael. Oh, uh, that's Michael's. Okay. I made it extra yeah, big. Yeah, extra big, you said. This one goes down to Robin. Oh, thank you, Jonah. Oh, I love it. This one goes down to Laura. Thank you. And then I made this one for you. Thank wow, you. love it. God. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. I will be sporting this today because yeah, it's cold. It's cold out today. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Jonah. You're so generous to, to make something. All great materials. There's, there's wool in this one. There's wool in that one. This is that one has really a little cool. bit of like, motor in it. You see that? Like wool, too. It's so yeah. beautiful. Yeah. It so, so you gave us something. We want to give you something wow. as well. We're so impressed with you. And, and of course, your talent. I mean, you legit fantastic <laughs> at this. So to help your efforts with Roots Ethiopia, um, Mighty is a company that helps kids start their own creative businesses. They're donating you fifteen hundred dollars. Oh, thank you so much. That's a donation in your name. That will complete your latest project goal. It sounds like it's the soccer goal. Yeah, do I get to keep the yarn? Of 50 <laughs> I do? Okay, good. Yes, good. you can keep that yarn. We want to get you more we'll yarn. We'll keep you in yarn. That's yes, okay. but that, that will hopefully get you to your goal of $55,000. Thank you so much. Yes, we were at 4000 and this completes it. So you, got, you just gave those kids soccer balls, uniforms, and everything else they need. And one last thing, this school is now officially a level four 
out of a scale of one to four in Ethiopia. Oh. So from the government, it's one of the best schools. No. Wow. Thank you to you guys for your service. You are a man. You are a wonderful ambassador. You truly are, you and so impressive. Mom, you've done good. You've done yeah. great. Mom. <laughs> thank you, and Jonah, thank you so much. And tomorrow we've got a sweet treat. We have a ten-year-old baker who's going to cook up some of her most delicious desserts. Coming up, speaking of delicious, you know these guys. Cupcake, cupcake guys. Yeah. Yeah, they're here live. Ooh, Jonah, stay for a cupcake. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>